Okay, folks, here is the final version. It is all completed, all the way down to the two Samsung posts that Karen asked if I would install at the very end so we can tie up uh, any line. But uh, the dock is all done. It's got the extra fascia board between the two Samson, Sans, Samson posts uh, to give you an extra little bit of extra lip there. Uh, it looks actually pretty good. I'll come down and give you a better walk. I'll take it out of widescreen or telephoto or whatever the heck. <clears throat> but uh, there you go. I'll come in here and get out of the sun. And again, the dock is perfectly level. It's just that the ground is not level. And I washed it off nice. Looks kind of crooked, but that's the way it's supposed to be because the left right hand side is sitting off the ground. Left hand side is on the ground. But uh, there are you two Samson posts. There are three screws on the east and west side. And I'll add three more screws to the uh, south side to tie it into that extra fascia board left and the fascia board right. And that way, no matter how hard you pull on that thing, it ain't going anywhere. There are eight screws that are holding the fascia board between the two Samson posts. So there will give you all of the uh, strength that you need. But uh, anyhow, the water is quite nice. It's still about four feet deep, maybe even a little less. Uh, and I think overall the, the dock should work exactly the way you want it. There's a little bit different perspective with one of your posts there. And it's still not touched. It's just barely, barely, about two inches away from the water there. Uh, water is extremely, just look at that reflection. Isn't that gorgeous? Almost, is a little bit of a flow, but not much. I'll back off a little bit. And now you can see the reflection, how neat it is. But uh, there is the final version. And I'll walk around here of the floating finger dock that will actually rise and fall with the creek height, or river height actually. And as that back section that you see elevated gets raised higher and higher, actually the deeper the water, the more level the dock will be. If it ever gets to um, the very top d dead center where that cross member is, the cross member will actually push right off the top and the two joists that are holding the deck together will actually rise above that. If it gets so high, I mean that would be a major flood, if it gets so high then those two, that back end of the dock will actually go vertical um, and I might even have to necessitate trimming the tree uh, just above it, but I, that would be, you know, major catastrophe around here. Uh, but so far, I think uh, everything should work appropriately. I've checked the levels again of everything. They're right on the bubble. Uh, the dock is extremely strong. I have one more 2x4 that I have to add, but uh, that's about it. The other thing, too, is I might add uh, the raised bars. I might even take those out and raise them a little bit more. It's simply cutting a 2 by 4 a uh, certain height. Uh, I have them at one and a half inches, I think, or one and a quarter inches. I could maybe go one and a half inches, give even more uh, to grip on. It would be a really, real simple job to do. So that's about it. Uh, so far, so good. We'll, we'll Hopefully it will uh, remain functional, and as the creek rises, boy, we need some rain here. Uh, that will make the dock even more usable. But so far, you can just put the dock, put the kayak in. Feet will never touch the ground, never get dirty, and uh, everything should be good. So there's Charlie Creek, Charles River, actually. There's our final version of the floating finger dock, and I think, uh, I think it came out quite nice. That's about it. Bye.